All right, Dave Sports, what do we got, man? Well, we are going to start with the Yankees, who made history last night as Domingo Herman threw a perfect game. No way. And the Yanks 11 to nothing win over the Oakland A's last night. Huh. Just the fourth perfect game in Yankee history. Don Larson, David Wells, David Cohn, of course, threw the other three. Herman was simply amazing, going the distance, giving up no runs, no hits, no walks while striking out nine. Look at that! And uh, we've, we, you know, we've seen. You know, we actually just talked about Domingo Herman. I think last week saying he's got so much talent, but he's up and down, up and down. He's very much a roller coaster. But hopefully, after throwing a perfect game, I mean, if there's nothing to give you more confidence, right, and right, right. Let's keep that roller coaster up now, yeah. Rather than going down, every, you know, because it feels like that's the way he is. The one, the one start is great. The very next start is bad. Then the very next start is great. All right. Very next start is bad. Well, all right, Domingo. Here's the uh, challenge from right. inside, Dave. Here on the rad, two perfect games in a row. Well, no. You've heard it here first. I, that's Davy Mac's special call. I he demands shan't. you do two in a row. No, I he, shan't ask that because it's gonna be dead. The next uh, one's gonna be down a little there bit. There was a guy, what was his name? Uh, I wish I could look it up. Wait. Johnny uh, Vanderbeek <laughs> did two perfect games in a row? Yeah, no. Two no-hitters, though. Oh, okay. Johnny Vandermeer. That was the guy. He threw um, in, uh, yeah, that's wow. uh, Johnny Vandermeer in like the 19, it looks like Van- about to be the 40s. Vandermeer? Is he this threw- just some sort of bad Seinfeld poll you're about to pull Look here? at him. That's he so- played for the Cincinnati Reds. So Van- I'm pretty damn amazing. Vandale- I'm Johnny Vandermeer. <laughs> Vandalay. Look at it. I want you to sit to recognize that I'm not no, lying. He's not lying. It's By the a- way, I'm actually just uh, discovering that Johnny Vandermeer uh, was, is from Prospect Park, New Jersey. Get out of town. No. See, the only know, player in the history of baseball to throw back-to-back no hitters. You know hitters. what? I take it back, Dave. You can be my latex salesman. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call me the sports master. I just pulled Johnny Vandermeer out of my you-know-what. <laughs> right out of his. But um, I will keep an eye on Domingo Herman as far as how about just the next start, seven innings, yeah. Two runs. Something good, something good. Seven yeah. innings, two runs. All right. I'm not well, asking hey, for the world. And you know what? The Yankees need a little spark, right? Yes. This was it. This this absolutely. And I do agree. That was, the, even though, you know, the spark that they need is offensively because their pitching has actually been good this year yeah. again, just like last year. Weirdly enough, last year and this year, their pitching has been really solid and they can't hit. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is the spark there. Yeah. Uh, so the Yankees, uh, and you know, Stanton hit a home run in the game. So a good win for, uh, the Yanks yeah, overall 11 runs 44 and, uh, 36 now is their record. Meanwhile, the Mets lost to the Brewers Mm-mm. five to two. Mm-mm. And after the game, this is what we've been waiting for. Mets owner, Steve Cohen expressed mm-hmm. frustration, Uh-oh. suggested that if the team doesn't turn it around, he might do trade deadline sell-offs. Oh, just start wow. selling off all just these guys. Reduces costs and uh, he says, circle the wagons. All is, quote, all is not lost yet, but it's getting late. I'm preparing my management team for all possibilities. Wow. If they don't get better, hmm. we have decisions to make at the trade deadline. Wow, how about that? Okay. So, so Cohen now coaching, is officially looking, holding their feet to the fire. He's, he's talking to the players. Yeah, because the Mets, it's the opposite of the Yankees. They're 36 and 44, eight games under 500. And the Phillies, they're actually playing good baseball right now. They took down the Cubs 8 to 5 behind three homers. By Phillies hitters, and the Phillies are now 42 and 37, playing good baseball. Uh, football, several NFL players are expected to receive season long suspensions for gambling. This is going to be a real, th- I mean, NFL is preparing for a real scandal right now. Wow. Among them is Indianapolis Colts superstar cornerback and kick returner Isaiah Rogers. Rogers, one of the first guys who's being investigated mm. for placing bets on Colts games. Wow. Again, same thing that Pete Rose yeah. got banned yep. for life from yep. baseball. Yep. They're doing it in the NFL with these online apps. Oh, boy. Straight up. Yeah. So this is a real yeah, issue. You got trouble. I, I agree. And then finally, NBA. The uh, NBA released the full collective bargaining agreement. Um, both sides have agreed, so no strike, no lockout for the NBA. July 1st will begin free agency, and they will have a, a seven-year contract to work going forward. That is your quick look at sports. All right, we will do news.